I'm back to my YouTube videos. I realized that I was putting off doing YouTube videos again because I was feeling so cringe about it. And I realized there's nothing to feel cringe about because everyone is mostly on TikTok anyway now. Love like Sundays, watching my favorite YouTubers and watching like daily vlogs and things, having a coffee. I just turned 30 at the start of August. Um, went to Paris to celebrate, which was amazing. I'm in a new flat now with my boyfriend. We live here in Balham. We absolutely love it here. Sorry, my dinner was ready, so I had to come and pick it out of the oven. But I also wanted to say that I was also inspired by a girl called Chell. I think it, her channel's like Chell Cal. Chell, but her name's Chelsea Callahan, I think. Um, from New York, she basically makes really realistic videos, like daily vlogs, um, of what it's like to live in a one bedroom apartment in Manhattan in New York. And her videos are just so normal and she's so down to earth and, you know, real and not everything's like perfect Instagram aesthetic. And they're the vlogs that I love to watch. Um, I absolutely love old school like Essie will <laughs> my sister will laugh because that's like my she's my favorite vlog vlogger um I think we're very similar but yeah I love like Essie Lalonde's videos and I love watching like Lily Pebbles and the Anna edit and all those really old youtubers not really old they're not old obviously but I mean like their videos the OG youtubers so yeah I just wanted to add my videos into the mix let's see how it goes um what else was I going to say? I want to show you my dinner that I've started making. It looks a bit roasted, but there's basically some yellow peppers, tomatoes, sweet potatoes, like in cubes with some paprika and salt. It doesn't, it doesn't look very appetizing, but it's going to be, I'm going to make some, I'm going to fry some halloumi and then also make some couscous up just like an Ainsley Harriet like packet to be exact, the sun-dried tomato and garlic. Also, this is a PSA. These are the best olives ever. I'm, it's becoming a problem at this point because I'm obsessed with them. I go through a whole tub per week and they cost about £4.50 for a tub. I'm slightly obsessed. They do all different flavors. I like garlic and herb, green, no, I like green olives with herbs. They also do black olives with feta, um, olives and garlic or paprika. So many flavors. They're delicious. exactly the same as when I last spoke to you um but it's a totally different day now and it's like later in the week I'm going to turn this into like a weekly vlog a uh, weekly vlog where I show you some clips of my life and stuff um it's been so hectic and crazy I had my family down at the weekend it's actually Tuesday night and I've been in the office sorry I'm just trying to unzip this I've been in the office um I'm back four days now which has been interesting it's actually been good because I just feel like I thrive so much in a routine. I just, it's good for me, but I hate it at the same time because I don't get to stay at home. Um, like most people, like four full days back in the office. So usually I'm taking a Friday to work from home. Um, but I've been so much more productive and everything. So it's good. But anyway, I thought I would show you my workwear haul that I've done. I don't know about anybody else but anytime i'm trying to put on clothes for work i'm literally like these outfits look ridiculous half of my trousers are too short for me 
The other half were far too big. Like I bought a few pairs from Abercrombie. It took ages for them to arrive. I do think they're, they've got long, they've got good long length in, in their trousers, but I ordered like a bunch of different styles and I got them in a size that I think is like a size too big because I was trying to be cautious and I've put on a little bit of weight, but I'm trying to just like not beat myself up about it and just, you know, that's my weight and I'm going to stop torturing myself over losing weight. Um, so anyway, I bought a few pairs and I was like, these are comfy, they feel comfy, but they actually look horrendous in the size bigger because they just make me like double the size and I'm just like no I should have just got should have sent them back and got a pair that actually fit but I didn't want to go through the rigmarole of taking them back to the shop and going to the post office and all of that shit so um anyway long story short I have bought some stuff from M&S and I want to show you I'm going to do a little haul now and then do try on so stay tuned for that <laughs> hopefully this stuff fits me and hopefully it looks good because I need some new work clothes Okay, so I have my big package here of all my stuff that I got. Um, this sounds, this feels like an old school haul video. Um, first thing that I got, a plain pack of size 12 thong. These were £16, I think. Why do I think they're £16? Oh, they are £16, yeah. They're just plain, they're like really nice material. It's just a three pack. I think you can get like a five pack for 12 pounds, but I'm trying to buy good quality things. One thing that I absolutely like can't do is shitty pants, like <laughs> shitty pants. I mean like um, bad quality pants because they just shrink or, you know, disintegrate. Oh, this one looks cute. This next one is navy, navy long sleeve. It's like ribbed actually really soft i got this in a size 10 um i find m&s clothing is like a little bit you know if you're between sizes i would like size down for most things i think in m&s don't quote me on that but um yeah this looks like it's gonna be good i'm gonna try it on so you can see and it's quite long and it's thick obviously these are like we're it's september and we're going into autumn is it autumn I love how they packaged everything, just like... Oh, I actually really like this. So this is a blouse. Um, it has buttons down the front. I think it looks quite expensive. It looks like it could be from like Whistles or something. This was £29.50. Um, it's a really nice material. Oh, I hope this looks nice. I also realised that I suit a v-neck, crew neck t-shirts are not for me. My boobs are, my boobs have definitely grown, obviously I'm like 30 now but they've definitely gotten a bit bigger so I think that like a v-neck, I don't even have any sort of cleavage still but I used to be like a b-cup and I think I'm now like a full c. Um, I just, yeah, anyway, this. Oh, I got some jersey trousers. So I got two pairs of like work trousers or like formal trousers. And then I got these jersey like high waisted ones because they just look so comfy. Um, oh, okay. Oh, they're all together. Okay, this is good. Yeah, these are the jersey ones. Oh my God, they're so long. Oh my God, they're so long. Wow. These are all, all the leg lengths are like a 12 long, by the way. They're really soft and they're quite flare. Those black ones that are high waisted are £17.50. I think that's why I just chucked them in the bag. I got 12 long again. Um, and then these were the ones I wanted. I think I saw, I can't remember what her name is. I think her name's Adele from TikTok. Long red, I think dyed red hair, gingery red hair copper kind of coloured hair um, and she like does a lot of mid-sized try-ons and I'm sure she had these on. Was it Adele? I think so. Um, these are the trousers. So the one thing I wasn't a bit, I wasn't 100% sure on is like this bit on the back, like I'm not sure what that's giving, like wedding waistcoat or something, I don't know. Um, but these, are, I got them in midnight navy, no dark navy, midnight. No idea. 
the, the dark navy color, basically. Oh, and then these are the same trousers in the black. This is how you know you're like 30. You're in your 30s. You order an M&S haul. Um, they're a really thick material. They feel really comfy. I hope they're not going to be too big. Sumptuously soft trainer liner for eight pounds. More trainer socks. Okay, so what's missing? Oh, the blouse is missing. I also ordered a really nice blouse from there, like a kind of smock kind of blouse, smock neck blouse. This is enough to try on now for you guys though, so BRB. I have the black high-waisted trousers on. I'm definitely keeping these. These are super comfy. Um, they're really high-waisted. I don't know if you can see. I don't want to show my feet. Um, they're my Ugg slippers, by the way, best purchase ever. Um, they're really high-waisted, super comfy, like jersey material. You could literally like wear these as leggings. They're so comfy and they're flared. Oh my god, I love these actually. I just put on the blouse, the white blouse with the black trousers. I don't think I would wear these together, but I love the blouse as well. This was like a little bit more, like £34. I think this is really sweet, like easy for work as well. I feel like if you were to wash it, you wouldn't need to iron it. It's just like a hang up and dry. These are the black trousers. I actually really like these trousers. Um, the material is very thick, like they feel expensive and they're very like cinched in at the waist. The only thing, sometimes I wish trousers didn't have pockets because I feel like the pockets can kind of make me look a little bit wider on the hips, but um, I really like these. Should I try on the navy? I might try on the navy as well. It's a full navy outfit. I don't think I would actually wear all the navy together because it's quite navy overload, but I love navy and black together. I think it looks really chic and cool. Um, these I wouldn't say are like super dark though. Like I love a proper like dark navy, almost black. And I think that looks so much nicer than like this kind of lighter blue color. Although I do actually like these. I think I'm going to keep everything. Um, yeah, that's my haul. <laughs> I hope that was helpful. afternoon it's one ten past one um we are hosting a little barbecue well we're not hosting matt and i are having a barbecue and my brother and his boyfriend are coming around for some food um and a couple of drinks i think before they go on towards rugby somewhere else but we're currently just like curtains closed in here camping out until <laughs> until they come because it's far too hot it's like roasting and um, we've got all the windows open and um, Matt's gonna be doing a barbecue, so I'll show you that. He's currently in the shower and it's 10 past one and they're coming at three. Um, so let's see how that goes. I am boiling alive, but I just wanted to quickly show you some bits I picked up from Boots the other day because I got a really cute, like a really good lip oil. Um, so I went into Boots beside my office and I've already tried this and put it back in the packet, but this is a Clinique Lip Glow. No, it's not. Clinique Lip Comfort Oil. Um, and I got the shade Pitaya. I filmed this clip like back to front, but basically the lip oil is like this really lovely little pinky tint. Um, when you take the lid out, you realize how little you actually get, but it's really nice, glossy. And when the oily bit like actually fades away, you're still left with a really nice tint on the lip. I think it's quite pretty. Um, I also got this mirror, mirror from Muji and it's really handy. It's so big. Okay, so that's that. And then I also got, I just opened this and the camera's back to front so you didn't see, but I got this Clinique chubby stick, the con curvy contour one. And it's just like a big crayon. You just literally draw it on your face. 
Um, oh, I've already got bronzer on. I've already got bronzer on, but oh well. I think you meant to use like a beauty blender, but I think it works quite well using your fingers. It's called contour, but I think it's actually a bit warm for contour. I think it's more like a bronzer. Um, I think it's quite nice. It gives like a nice bronzy glow to the skin. Gotta put quite a bit of makeup on there. How juicy is this? And then the final thing I got is the Chubby Sick in the Rhubarb one. Oh no, Amped Up Apple is called. The Rhubarb one's a bit pinker. My sister uses that one. And it's this colour. I've already got this on my cheeks. I haven't. This was a refill of this one. Mm. I just like these because it's really quick and easy. And I love this on my lips as well. This is kind of like Charlotte Tilbury's uh, Pillow Talk. And then they also got me, they also gave me a little freebie mask thing. Overnight mask hydrant. I'll probably use that after today because it's very hot today. Hopefully I don't burn. I've got Factor 50 on a Kiehl's one, which is like the best. I'll actually show you that at some point because it's the only SPF that I find that doesn't break me out. I'm quite um, sensitive to, oh, there's a wasp in here. I'm quite sensitive to SPF and the Kiehl's one's really, really good. So this is our little waitress haul, except for these two cans of beer, which are from the place where my boyfriend's from in Lewis. Um, has a little independent brewery called Beak that we love going to when we go to his mum's house. Um, so we picked them up at like a local, well, it's, a Clap it's called Clapton Craft Beer in Balham. They also have one, I think, in Clapton as well, <laughs> I would think. Um, but yeah, this is what we got, basically. We got some... New York style beef burgers and bearing in mind at this point we thought it was just going to be the two of us so this is a lot of food for two but we'll, I think we'll eat some tomorrow um my boyfriend my brothers and his boyfriend are coming around but I'm not sure if they're eating with us so who knows anyway we got four burgers we got these um chicken shawarma king kebabs which are chicken thighs marinated in cool yogurt with black pepper cinnamon and chili yum um Matt hates coleslaw but I absolutely love it. And I got the cheese one, which I'm sure is going to be delicious. We got four brioche burger buns. Matt loves cheap cheese for his cheeseburgers. So we'll put we'll me melt some of that on there. And then they didn't have any normal uh, halloumi. So we thought we would treat ourselves. This was four pounds for this tiny little bit of halloumi. So we got that. We also got a bottle of rosé. This was on sale for 10 quid and it was meant to be 15 or something so we needed some nice um extra virgin olive oil for our salad and then this is the absolute best bread when this is it has to be toasted otherwise it's quite dry but when it's toasted it tastes like a crumpet it's absolutely gorgeous um and yeah that's our little haul so we have some wine some beers um what else do we have in the fridge Oh, I actually made some roasted veg the other night. Um, oh, sour cream. This roasted veg, um, which is like sweet potatoes and courgette, pepper, onions and things. So we'll probably put that in there. Um, and then we've got some bits to make a salad as well. This is our tiny fridge. It's so small. <laughs> uh, it's quite hard to get by with that. Um, but yeah, this is it. So we're going to cook this up. The time is now... Half past one, and Matt's still in the shower, so let's see what happens. <laughs> I don't think we'll be ready in time.